Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It's going to be focused on your love life. The first set of cards that I see is showing to me that during this period of time, many of you are feeling a lot of emotions, but your emotions are not the type of emotions you want to be experiencing right now. I feel like there's a moodiness. You could be upset about something or upset with an individual that you are dealing with. But I also pick up from your energy that there is a resilience. There is a strength. And that is coming out from your energy and that is carrying you during this period of time, right? I feel like you're also keeping a lot of your emotions on the inside. For some of you, you may feel as if it's not important to expose it or to talk about it. It might have been, you know, something that occurred between you and this individual that made you think twice about revealing what you're going through, revealing your intentions. I feel like a lot of you are, you know, keeping things to yourself at this point. Now, when it comes to this person concerned, I see a very interesting energy, which is showing to me that this individual, for some reason, their energy has been ignited or perhaps the situation has presented a catalyst for this person right if you're dealing with a man it could be that there's a lot of passion there they're finding you very attractive right now especially in terms of your qualities if you are not breaking down if you are maintaining a very cool persona and you're not being affected by the situation this individual is being mesmerized by your regal nature so it has clearly taken them by a big surprise, especially how you carried yourself, how you reacted in the situation. And I don't think this individual, you know, really thought that you could be so strong. They knew that you were a strong individual, but they didn't know to this depth, right? Now, another point I want to mention is if you're dealing, you know, if you're a guy dealing with a female, it could indicate that she's looking upon you and thinking to herself, wow, this person is so strong. I can't believe this, you know. So it's a form of disbelief because I feel like something may have happened between the two of you and it caused some upheavals. Okay, so I'm seeing from these cards that there's this energy of where this person that you're dealing with, there's a lot of grief and worry here. There's a lot of sleepless nights, anxiety, fears, things of that nature. I feel like there's a struggle to cope in light of what has happened between you and this individual concerned. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you have went into this place where you're not very soft and sweet during this period of time. You know, I feel like your aggression and your nature as a person, it's very defined in that sense. So I feel like there's something about your character and how you're carrying yourself right now that is very different to the past. Maybe you don't uh, really, you know, give much of a concern for this person just because they may have uh, put you in that place where you just couldn't be bothered, couldn't be troubled by what they get up to, what they do. But I feel like because you've turned your back on them, it's making them see you in a more attractive light. 
Now, there's definitely an indication here that there's an aura around you, Aries, and it's something that makes you stand out from the crowd, whether it's the fact that you are alluring, you're seductive, you're beautiful, very handsome. It could be, you know, any of those components that is coming out more during this period of time. So people around you are naturally going to find you very attractive. And so this individual is also deeply worried about that as well. They see you as having gone very cold on them or very distant towards them. And that's something that could be, um, you know, affecting the situation to a large degree. And they don't know how to deal with it in the best way possible. I feel like communication. Communication is either blocked right now or you have blocked this individual, okay? I'm getting the impression that before they had the ability to access you. And what I'm picking up is there's some sort of thing that is happening during this period where their eyes are opening or they're looking at the situation very differently. I feel like this individual could be going through something that could be revolving around a sense of loneliness, but also thinking to themselves, they wish that things were the, the way that it was back then, you know. So it's that sort of longing for that period of time, but also there's this sense of fear, you know, fear that you're walking away and that you may turn down any offers or opportunities extended by them. There's also the energy of where... This person feels as if they cannot express themselves, that their voice cannot be heard, that perhaps you don't care about what they have to say anymore. I'm also picking up this energy of where, you know, this individual is at a point in which they know that the momentum, the pace, the way that things were, it's not, you know, going in their favor, it's to their disadvantage. There is that sort of uh, dreariness about the situation where they're very afraid that you're going to, you know, shut them out and keep them out permanently. I'm picking up that things between the two of you just haven't been working out in the way that they wanted it to. And it could be because they've been reverting to some of the mistakes and errors that they've been making time and again, and they haven't truly you know, wrap their mind around it. They haven't truly understood the nature of their ways and how they've been affecting the situation. I'm also seeing from these cards here that they are terrified that you're going to go very, very cold on them and that you'll walk away and that they won't be able to make this right. They won't be able to uh, do something for you or try to pick up the situation from where it is. So that's a very big fear of abandonment. I feel like this individual is feeling very crushed when it comes to their spirit, but there's definitely this energy from the cards where, you know, they may not have a chance to say their piece because you may have blocked them or you may not give them ever an opportunity to come back and try to restore anything. So there is that uh, fear and worry coming out. Now, the other card that I'm looking at is showing to me that in terms of this, you know, uh, scenario that is playing out between you and this individual there is a deep sense of loneliness because I do feel like some of you have cut this person off and they might be in a very uh, big sort of disbelief you know they might be in complete shock and disbelief to the point in which they don't know what to do next they don't know what to respond to in terms of how to reach you whether they can reach you they don't know if they have that access again and they do have a very deep fear that you're going to leave them and uh, get on with your life and that uh, they're not going to be uh, anybody of importance in your world anymore so that is some energies that are coming forward from the cards during this period i'm also sensing that there's some sort of awareness of the situation. It's like reality hitting them very hard. 
And looking at this uh, sort of uh, relationship, or maybe it was just a situation between the two of you, I'm wondering if uh, this is the end of it all, if they can ever be a way going forward again, okay? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies. I'm going to be looking at the energy of this individual and looking at the potential circumstances that could play out since uh, this is, uh, you know, the time when things are really hanging in the balance. You don't really know what's going to happen fully just because there's a sense of helplessness in the air and this person is feeling blocked uh, from your world right now. You can find the link in the description box below. If you are from EU or UK, you can use the link to purchase extended readings. Okay, have a wonderful day and take care.